Hey guys, it's Jay here today, and today's video is a very, very exciting video. I love these sorts of videos, and I hope you guys do too. Today's video is another subscription box unboxing, and the subscription box that we're going to be unboxing today is the Smart Art box. So Smart Art is pretty much a monthly subscription box where they send you all of the supplies needed to do an art project from like a certain medium, like it could be, it, and it focuses around like a certain artist. I'll just have to kind of show you guys more when I get opening to the box, but I'm very excited about this and art has been a very influential part of my life, like forever. So I'm super excited to get the opportunity to unbox this box for you guys. Quick disclaimer, this box was sent to me for review, but of course all opinions are my own. I just definitely wanted to share that with you guys. I'm never going to like lie to you guys or not tell you guys if like something was sent to me because that's just like not fair to y'all. And um, let's see, going on. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any other video ideas you guys want to see on my channel. Also, you guys should follow me on Instagram at lifeasjayt, and then you'll be notified whenever I have a new video coming out or whenever I'm doing a live stream or whenever I'm doing anything cool or whatever. You guys should just follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, so let's just keep this intro real quick and get started with the video. Alright, so this is the box that the Smart Art box comes in. It's just really pretty purple, and it's got their cute little logo with like the quill, and then it just says on the front, Empower Creativity, or Creativity, y'all, I don't pronounce things. And I know my outfit is really cute today, this awesome sweatshirt. I actually have like a lacrosse penny underneath this, and like, I haven't taken a shower since um, lacrosse practice. So, um, looking real cute today. So, opening up the box. Oh, it's very hard to show you guys. So um, this is just the inside of the box when you first see it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is kind of like in the inside lid of the box. And pretty much it just says create, upload, post, and win. So you, using like the medium, um, the art supplies in the box, you create a piece of artwork and then you can take a photo of it and post it with the hashtag smartartbox. And then you can also post it to their Facebook Facebook page, which is smartartbox. And then the most liked um, like commented on and like, you know, favorited I guess. I don't really know how Facebook works. Um, wins a free one of these subscription boxes. So let's get into the contents of the box. So the first thing that every smart art box comes in is just a little, comes with, is one of these little pamphlets. So it's got like a piece of artwork from the artist on the front. And then this first, I'll fold it over so you can see it. This first page has the smart art history. The first thing that I want to tell you guys is that this box around about surrounds around the artist Banksy and the like medium or style of art is street art just something I've never really like done much before but it's always just so intriguing to me and I feel like it's kind of cool because it's a little bit abstracty esque um, so I'm very excited to try out that medium and that's one of my favorite parts about this box is that you get to if you get like a subscription continuously do it you're trying out so many different mediums of art so you can find out which one is best for you and just be a really like more diverse artist which I think is always good so then it has kind of a history of street art and the artist sorry that's someone was talking to me then it has some project pointers for when you're doing your project then it has the Smart Art Box Project Tools, which is just everything that it comes with, which I'm not going to read because I want it to be surprised. And um, on the back, it just has the suggested project that you can do to like enter to win, you know, and all the steps it takes to do that project. So this book is extremely, extremely helpful. So then when you get into the contents of the box, it just comes in this really cute orange tissue paper. The gallery cradled wood panel. Cute. Okay, so this is pretty much you're going to do your artwork on the face of this. So it's kind of like a, um, can't even think of the word. This is embarrassing. So the really good thing about using this wood is very heavy duty and thick as you can see. But the good thing about using this is that it can, um, you know, take up to a lot of painting and like on a normal piece of paper or something like that that's going to like wear through. So this is very good for the street art that we will be doing. Is the Tombow Mono Drawing Pencil Set. So it comes with three pencils. It comes with an HB, a 2B, and a B. The next thing that is very interesting with me because it is so large is this huge paintbrush, which is awesome. I don't have a paintbrush like this, like this tip at all. Um, so this is the Pro Stroke Number 10 77R Premium White Bristle Creative Mark Paintbrush. So the next thing that is in here that you guys might not even be able to see, it is so skinny, is the Beast 
spot to touch creative mark this is like a really 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 tiny paintbrush it's but the final thing that comes in the box is all of these so let me just let me just hold up one so this is the mural paint markers and this is light, fast, opaque acrylic, no brush needed, indoor, outdoor, non-toxic, water-based, and you can clean up with soap and water, and you need to shake well for each use. So this is like a red one, I'm guessing. So let's just unscrew the cap and look at this. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's like a sponge tip applicator, paint marker type thing, and it's really cool for street art using something like this. And I also really find it interesting that it's, um, you can clean up with soap and water, so, and it's like indoor-outdoor, so you can do this outside on like really like street art as well as do it on a normal canvas. That's the word, canvas. I could not think of that. And then the next one I have here, I cannot really see the color. This is the color Stop. This is the color Rockstar. It probably is just black, I'm not exactly sure. Um, the next one is the color ice, which is just like a nice kind of cobalty blue. And the last one that you get is the color scorched, which is just a really nice bright sunshine yellow. So sadly, that is all of the contents in this box. I absolutely love this subscription box. So my final thoughts are that I really, really, really like it. I love the idea of being able to diversify. I think it's work. Diversify <laughs> your um techniques and your skill as an artist and be able to try different, more unique um, ways of doing art, like street art. I would have never tried it, but I've never known what to get. And I think that's also a really good thing about it, is that like when you want to start a new thing, like I wanted to do street art, you I have no idea what to buy, what brands are good, and like what things actually like, worth doing, or what colors I need, or whatever. So I love how it comes with everything you need to create this piece of artwork, as well as it comes with stuff that you know that you can use forever. Like it, I love how they didn't give you just like a tiny bottle of this would only last one use. They give you like a full size bottle that you can use for a very very long time. I really really love this subscription box. I think it's a great buy for the money, and I think it's a great thing to do if you're an aspiring artist or even already like a professional artist that just wants to broaden their knowledge about art. I think this is super super fun, and I was so excited to get the subscription box in the mail, guys, because I was so excited when this brand wanted to send me a box. So excited. So my final thoughts on the Smart Art Box is that I love them. Absolutely love them. Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked this video, give, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any other video ideas you guys want to see on my channel. Also, if I really, really enjoy reviewing subscription boxes for you guys, I like love it. I just think they're the coolest thing ever that something is like... I don't know. I just really like subscription boxes. So if you guys want to see more subscription box reviews, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below other subscription boxes that I should review and try out for you guys. And I will try to look into as many of them as possible. I think I kind of want to make it a little bit of a mini series on my channel. And like, I don't want to like bombard my whole, my whole channel with like subscription boxes. So depending on like how fluent I get with subscription boxes, I might make it kind of like a mini series esque where I would like do that as like a Wednesday upload or something just to kind of add a few more videos in there for you guys. Not really sure yet, but if you want to see that, please give this video a big thumbs up. You should also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun videos like this one. Guess what? It's free. Also, you should follow, follow me on Instagram, which is lifeasjyt, and you'll be notified anytime I have a new upload or doing a live stream or doing anything fun and spectacular like that and also if you would like to purchase your very own smart art box I will have a link in the description box to their website where you can order your first smart art box as well thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have an amazing day bye guys